Hey, what's up, Gabriel Skelmissing? Welcome back to part two of Energy Gear on a Budget, where we're talking about the best sources for free energy gear of all types, shapes, sizes, and colors. In the last video, we talked about hat robes, shoes, and wands. This time, we're going to cover rings, a famed decks, pets, and all the other things I didn't cover in the first video. All right, so let's go ahead now and get started. Before I get started on the rings, the fame, etc., I need to pop back to hats, robes, and shoes really quick and give a quick thanks to Andre for reminding me that you can also get energy gear via the Hydra's Horde Pack type stuff from the Grand Tourney Arena Gauntlet. I forgot all about mentioning that yesterday when I did the video. And Andre put it in his comments. Thank you very much, Andre, because I totally spaced that one off. All right, now that we've got that touched on, let's get back to the rings, the Thames, and all the other good energy gear. First of all, so far as these go, I am here in Vestralun in Winter Tusk, and I'm in front of Ingolf the Grower. Ingolf has some very, very interesting gear in the, in the way of a Thames, And rings. I don't think he has pennants that give any. Nope. It's the Thames and rings with him. He has the Emerald Bear Claw, the Garnet Bear Claw, and the Topaz Bear Claw. Now, you have to be a master level artisan to craft this stuff, but you can add a little bit of energy to your to the Thames that you're carrying by crafting one of these Thames and or one of these rings. He has the Winter Test Ring of Bravery, the Ring of Courage, and the Ring of Valor, each which have, as you can see, just a little bit more energy than none. Not a lot. Three Plus three energy is not isn't a lot. Plus four energy isn't a lot, I'll admit. But plus four energy when you have zero is four more energy that you didn't have, which is all adds up in the end. Now these rings you can use at level 56, as you see from the description of them. And you will be replacing these with the rings that I'm going to mention next as far as energy rings go. But for now, this is yet another source for energy rings if you don't have any at all. You can come up here craft this for not a lot of very expensive crafting materials. And get yourself three to five more energy, just a little bit more to go along. Let's go ahead now and go over to our next source. Another good source for a Thames and rings that have energy, if for some odd reason you don't have a membership or uh, maybe you're, I don't know, maybe your time has run out on your membership, whatever, you can't get over to Winter Tusk to craft the rings, you can also get a Thames and rings that carry energy from our toady buddy here, Sir Nigel Higginbottom. Now the drawback to this over the rings and a Thames from Vesterlund is that you have to be the rank of pet captain or commander or what have you, a sergeant. It just depends on the item to get these various things and that these cost arena tickets. Again, if you have a bunch of arena tickets from doing one of the free tourney weeks or free tourney events or what have you, that will, then this will work out for you over going to Vesterlund to get them. I mentioned Vesterlund and these just in case you have one source and not the other and you don't have any of Thames or rings that car are carrying energy. There's one more good source for energy carrying, rings and a Thames, wands, what have you. All right, the third and best source so far for energy rings and a Thames is here in Darkmoor, if you can get here, to Aphrodite. Aphrodite is a pain in the butt to farm. She is, I'll be the first to admit it, but she also currently, for being a pain, gives the best ring energy-wise and the best of fame, energy-wise, in the game so far. The other guys, uh, Ingolf the Grower and the little toad there in the pet pavilion, give rings and the Thames, I will admit, but they're not quite as good as Aphrodite's. Now there's one more source for rings that I can think of, and that is you can get energy rings they vary by school, so you'll re you'll really want to wiki this one because there's like set, there's one different one different drop for each school for energy rings that will give you plus five energy in Avalon. 
Look up uh, Energy Ring Avalon on Wiki. I'm sure you can find it. Like I said, I don't want to go through the exhaustive list of you know each boss for each ring. Anyhow, there are seven different Energy Rings that you can get in Avalon that have a plus five energy rating. And they're a little bit better than Engulf and the Toad's Rings, but not quite as good here at, at, as Aphrodite's. It's all going to depend really on where you can get to, what areas you have access to, as to the quality of energy of energy gear that you're going to get. Because for the most part, the best energy gear is at the higher levels. And the higher levels are at the higher areas. So you're, that's what you're really going to have with this. Now while I'm here at Darkmoor, so I don't have to go anywhere else, I'm going to show you the absolute best piece of energy gear that you can get the easiest way. And that is... Let me lock him so I don't lose him. That is the Dapper Corgi Pet. This was King's Isle's answer to pets having energy, and what a pet it is. Jackson starts at baby with plus eight to max energy, and you can get that plus eight from any Dapper Corgi. I mean, you can mix it. You can, if you want to struggle in Marley Bone with Billy the Cutter and try to get him as a drop, you can do that. But the easiest way so far is just to mix with someone who has a Dapper Corgi. And there are plenty of them out there. The Dapper Corgi at Baby, like I said, will give you plus 8 max energy. You don't even have to train it if you don't want to. However, I recommend that you do train it because then you can sock that nice big pet energy jewel on there. You can get a plus 15, a plus 10, or a plus 20. I think it might even be plus 5, but I, I wouldn't even bother with that one. From different bosses, you can get the Ultra Energy Jewel, that is the plus 20 Energy Jewel, most notably from the Jade, Oni, and Mushu, if you can get there. But there are several other places that will give you pet Energy Jewels as well. All right, so let's go round it out for the Energy. So far as I know at this time, there are no naturally occurring decks that have Energy. I, I've, I've added a, an Energy Jewel, a Gear Energy Jewel to this one, but there are no decks that start or, base, or have basic Energy. And that's just going about cover it for all of the energy gear that I can think of that you can get on a budget. No crowns needed, just a little bit of time invested, a little bit of skill involved, maybe farming these different bosses or doing the crafting to get those th kind of things. And it's going to work out for you in the end. Guys, that is it for the energy gear on the budget. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit that like button, a good heart smash, and as well subscribe and share. I'd really like to see more of you around here. It would be nice. Until next time, this is Skelly Mystic reminding you that whatever else you do, always love the game. Peace! Hey, it's a gamers with Skelly Mystic. I am here today in Grizzleheim because Grizzleheim has traditionally been the absolute best place that you can go if you want to increase your couch potato take. That is going to Saverstad Pass and farming the trouble bears over and over and over and without, let's add a few more.